I made my way south again, down to Charleston. Thought I'd follow this Brotherhood stuff through. From what we know, a reporter at the Herald may have had information on a Sam Blackwell. How this completely ties in to the Brotherhood, I'm not sure I understand it 100%, but none of it really sounds good. Luckily, I think this is the building here that we need to get into. I managed to fix my weapons, although my sniper rifle is probably going to be breaking pretty soon. And I'm down one piece of armor. The other one has been repaired. Not quite sure what I'm going to find in here, but we do got to make it up to the upper levels, I believe. It's kind of dark in here. We turn on our pit boys. Flashlight. While I'm at it, I should probably be picking up any piece of aluminum and find. I don't think that's aluminum, but whatever. And oh. Those will come in handy. Maybe some loose screws or something. Church bells are ringing. water. I'm not too concerned with that. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't think that was the only one. Oh gosh. What is a mole rat? What are they doing up here? Get the meat. Like it's just out of nowhere. Jeez. Hey. Man. Too much activity. Is this open? It does and it goes nowhere. It goes outside, which I really care less about because that's not what we're looking for. I don't think we're gonna find any information out here, and it sounds like there's already trouble. With God knows what. Petrified corpses are disgusting. Used to be human and be so disrespectful, I guess. Get out of here, man. Boom board? It's wood, probably. What am I looking for? Who's fighting outside? Oh shoot. Okay, hey, that could have been worse. That could have been much worse. Hey, okay, locked door. Always fun. Plastic fork, typewriter. Is that it? It's a safe here. And weak bobby pins. 
gold watch, silver. All right, nothing that great. Desk fan. Just gonna be looting for supplies so we can, I guess, essentially take everything back home and repair things. Quinn. Quinn didn't make it. Sam Blackwell. I think that's actually what I needed to look Senator for. Forces? The end is coming? Senator, you're making some big claims here. Do you have evidence to back it up? This is not some doomsday fever dream, if that's what you're asking, Miss Carter. I received my information from reliable sources. Yes. And I'm supposed to take your word for it? You're going to have to, Miss Carter. I'm trying to save lives, not put more at risk by exposing my sources. Senator, I I'm not trying to be rude here, but it sounds like you're trying to start a panic, and, and without evidence, I'm not willing to be a part of that. I also have it under the strictest confidence that You've been seen making multiple visits to a certain Charleston neurologist as of... My health is not the issue here, Miss Carter. These are people's lives. The executive branch, captains of industry, the Department of Agriculture. I peeked into their world and they threatened my life, my daughter's life. We're just pawns to them. And the only way we survive is to step off the board. All I'm asking is that... You share that message. I... I meant no offense. You just have to know how this looks from my end. I... I understand. It's just a sensitive topic. Would you mind if I asked you one last question? If it means you get the word out, go ahead. You never resigned as senator. Is that something you're planning to do? I am. Consider this interview on a formal resignation. Spread the word, Miss Carter. All I ask is that my warning goes with it. And nothing else. Now, if you wouldn't mind, my daughter and I have a lot to do. We're on our own out here, after all. Okay, I believe I was a bit confused earlier. I'm here to look for information on Sam Blackwell. This is the Charleston Herald. And I think I played that out of order. So, part one. All right, it's recording. Thank you again for reaching out to me. I can't tell you how shocked I was to, to find out your letter was the real deal. Of course, Miss Carter. Hope the trek wasn't too arduous. It was an experience. Not a lot of my interviews start with a bag over my head. Just glad it didn't end up being a prank, I suppose. I apologize for that. Maintaining a low profile is... a requirement for us now. And why is that, Senator? Why did you leave your position suddenly? Leaving? was the only way I thought I'd be able to protect my family, Miss Carter. But I've since realized that I've left a lot of other people I care about in grave danger. I was hoping you could help me correct that. What are you talking about, Senator? There are sinister forces at work in the halls of the government. I and my fellow members of the free states will no longer be shackled to the putrefying courts of this nation. No, nor should anyone who values their lives. There is only one recourse left for the people of the United States. Strike out on your own. Take whatever you can carry. Get off the grid and get there fast. <coughs> the end is coming. And when it does, your government has no interest in keeping you safe. Alright. We're getting a little closer to finding out a little bit more about this. Few more bits of information up here. Carter and Blackwell traitors. No radiation for me. Sam Blackwell and Quinn Carter traitors. If you or I sat in a room and recorded a robbery, then refused to give information regarding the culprits, we'd be in jail. But Quinn Carter, despite interviewing a man guilty of a far grander crime, walks free. 
support justice and refuse to buy any copies of the Charleston Herald until Quinn Carter is charged with conspiracy to commit treason or until she reveals the location of tr the traitor Sam Blackwell and all his fellow free states uh, uh, secessionists. Charleston citizens against corruption. Okay, so apparently there was a big outcry by the public. So I don't think there's much up here. Maybe it's in the safe. I have to pick this. There's gotta be something in here that I can find. Nothing. Last bowl. And I'm not finding a thing. Could there possibly be? All right. Sam Blackwell interview notes read. Interview notes. Overall impression, I don't think Blackwell's crazy, but something was off. Very little to gain from leaving his position. Honestly believes there's an evil force at work here. If he lo Is he losing it or just hiding it better than the rest of us? Next step, track down who these sinister forces are that sent the senator running for the hills. General notes offer for interview arrived in handmade envelope. Favor with the CPD got me a print match. They're the senators. Holy shit. Meet site, Berkeley Springs, trading station, met at dawn by a masked young woman, clearly Judith Blackwell, probably forgot we'd met at the governor's ball, and a masked older man, clearly the senator. Roughly half hour hike, pretty much due east, could see the sunrise through the bag. Nice thought, though, guys. Hike passed through a stream, over a highway, small bit of marsh, into a cave, then down an elevator. Rest can be taken from the tapes, Blackwell. Blackwell was in serious politician mode, on message, firm, and trying his damnedest to make sure I was scared about the things he claims go bump in the night. What's this all about? I'm, I'm getting more lost the longer I try to look for clues. Okay. This, this is... There's something out somewhere hidden that Blackwell must own somewhere so apparently i gotta go look for a his hiding spot this is clearly where he took the reporter i spent longer than i wanted to hear this was just almost a waste of time looking for clues some that were filed away even hard to detect but i found something on a sam blackwell and apparently there's something hidden a location somewhere in the middle of maybe the marsh the bogs it sounds like i'm gonna be going east and, well, there are several bunkers out there that I know of. But maybe there's one I haven't quite found yet. This place is riddled with ferals on top of that. 